I started collecting Philippine traditional costumes from 1981 onwards slowly and steadily. Previously, I was part of the Ramon Obusan Folkloric Group and following a world tour with the Fiesta Filipina International, I was motivated to teach folk dances to my Filipino colleagues at the United Nations upon settling in Vienna. The very first piece I acquired was an elegant black and white tridi mestiza, more commonly known as the Maria Clara. Typically, an ensemble is comprised of the camisa, a waist-length blouse with bell-shaped sleeves, the saya, a voluminous floor-length skirt, the panuelo, a shawl worn over the camisa, and the tapis, an overskirt worn on top of the saya. The dress took its name from Maria Clara, the mestiza protagonist of the novel Nole Betangere, penned by Filipino nationalist Jose Rizal. On the other hand, men wear the Barong Tagalog during important celebrations and formal occasions. The embroidery of the Barong Tagalog is commonly placed on a rectangular section on the front of the chest or over the entire shirt. This formal attire combines elements of both the pre-colonial native Filipino and colonial Spanish clothing styles and is considered the counterpart of the Maria Clara or Terno. Also known as the land of the dream weavers, South Cotabato is the home to the Tinalak. Tinalak weaving is part of the intangible cultural heritage of the Tiboli people. The Tiboli women's kagal nesif is a tight-fitting waist-length cotton blouse with geometric patterns rendered in red, white, and yellow with bands of zigzag and other designs. It is paired with a tabular skirt made of tinalak for special occasions or plain woven cotton fabric for ordinary days. They use the sloong kenibam, a white brimmed hat made of bamboo covered with vibrant thread fabric during travel or farming to protect against the glare of the sun. Tiboli women like to adorn themselves from early childhood. They use a decorative comb with colorful glass beads on their hair, wear multi-stranded necklaces, dangling earrings, brass anklets, bracelets, and use chain mail belts with brass square buckles, and hot belts. Tibuli men wear their traditional Tinalak garments only on special occasions, which is the Kigal Saru, a long sleeve tight-fitting colorless jacket made of abaca, and the Sawal Tahu, a knee or ankle-length pair of pants, and the Olao, a simple cotton turban. It is also worth mentioning the Tiboli musical instruments, the hagalong, a wooden two-string bow tooth, and the tinonggong, a barrel-shaped deerskin drum played to accompany dances. I consider the three Ifugao hand-woven fabrics my most significant pieces because they were the first authentic hand-woven fabrics I ever bought directly from its source in Batad. It is at the foot of the world-famous Banawe rice terraces 
in 1996. Whenever I see and touch those Ifugo blankets, a sacred feeling envelops me, and memories of the futile flash through my mind. In Kalinga, the men wear bahag, a loin cloth made from bark cloth or hand woven textiles. The bahag is worn around the waist and between the legs. Tattoos are rightfully earned and bear significant meaning for the men as these typically signify the number of wars fought and even the skill level of the warrior. The women typically wear the tapis or the kain with a witan which are wrapped around skirts made from hand-woven fabrics. Detailed motifs, geometrical patterns, and embellishments characterize Kalinga textiles, including miniature lattice, inata-ata or continuous lassans pattern, and mother-of-pearl platelets called pawikan. These costumes are far more than just beautiful textiles woven together. They are a celebration of our own identity and heritage. And as a collector, the least I can do is play my part in preserving and further cultivating the rich history behind these cultural pieces. I seek to find permanent homes to these cultural pieces where students, scholars, and researchers alike can learn and appreciate the significance, the history, and the stories behind these costumes that carry the heritage of the Philippines. Mm -hmm.